Hi, YouTube. Today, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to install Windows 98 on PCEM. If you want to play your Windows 98 games on your Windows 10, and if it doesn't work, because you will get a message saying, this app can't run on your PC. So, you want to click New. You can name it Windows 98. I'm going to name my Windows 98 tutorial. And I will have a link to uh, the PCEM Utilities ISO in the description below. You can pick... I do not recommend the Intel VS 480FX because I tried that and it lagged. So I recommend you pick slot 1 gigabyte GA 686 BX and you can you can give it any of the penny and twos for the this tutorial I recommend 450 but for this tutorial I'm going to do 350 to make this process simpler you can add in how much how much ram you want you can add in how much megabytes you want I'm going to give mine 512 megabytes. I'm going to give mine the 3DFX Voodoo 3. Voodoo 2 will be your game driver. And the Sound Blaster is a, a Sound Blaster AWE32. I'm going to name mine Windows 98 Tutorial. For your gaming, I recommend you give it 6. 183E83 to make it big hard drive for your Windows 98 demo. But for this demo, I'm going to use make a 20 gig hard drive. I'm going to put in here because I'm going to delete it shortly after I do this tutorial. It's going to create the drive. When it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, it says drive created. Remember to partition and format the new hard drive. All right. When you start the tutorial, when you start the machine, press delete to enter setup. You want to go to BIOS features and go to boot sequence and go to page up to make sure the drive A starts up first. Exit setup and insert your Windows 98 boot floppy immediately. And it's going to boot off the floppy. We're going to start computer without CD-ROM support. And this is for creating the FDisk commands. Type F D I S K F disk and hit enter. And you want to say why to enable large disk support. You want to create a DOS partition or logical DOS drive. You want to create a DOS partition and it's going to create it for you. And if it asks you to use the maximum available size for the primary DOS partition and make the partition active, you want to select yes. And after it does that, it tells you to restart your computer. Go up to system and hit control alt delete. And your compute your emulator will reboot.
start computer with CD-ROM support. This is for formatting the hard drive and copying over the CAB files on Windows 98. Parents, start your computer. This takes, this may take a few minutes, so please wait. Okay. This drive lighter right here, this may vary to your Windows 98 system. So type format C colon S. This, the S option, We'll copy over command.com over to the C drive. Hit enter. It says, warning, all data on non-removable disk drive C will be lost. Proceed with format. You want to confirm Y. And this may take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to skip that and I'll be right back. Okay, it's done formatting the C drive. You can give it a volume label if you wish, but I'm not going to for this tutorial video. Now, go to drive E, which is the CD drive, and you want to copy over the Windows 98 folder. So, go to drive C. Okay. Type MD Windows. We're going to make an options by it. And type CABS. And go to Windows Options CABS. And you want to copy E Win 98 star dot star. And the reason why we're going to copy those cabs is because if it requires the Windows 98 CD, it'll, its path will be Windows Options Cabs. And I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, the Windows 98 cab files has been copied. I'm going to remove the floppy and remove the CD. I'm going to change into the PCEM Utility CD. And we will do a control of delete because this is, I got this method from Billy Core. You saw a brief second of the Windows 98 startup screen. So the next thing to do is to Go to change the directory to Windows Options Cabs, and you want to type setup with the IS option. And the reason we're going to do the IS option is because it lets you skip scan disk. And the reason we're going to skip scan disk is because it is a waste of time to me. It'll welcome you to the setup, and you want to press continue. And it's going to prepare the setup wizard. And it wants you to install to Windows.000, but the only way to resolve it is to go to other directory, click next, and you want to remove the three zeros, and you want to be sure to remove the period before it. And if you click next, it says, caution, the directory C windows already exists. If you continue, files in this directory may be overwritten. Do you want to continue with this specified directory? You want to hit yes, because we know the options tabs will be there. And it's going to check for installed components. And it's checking for available disk drive. I'm going to go with custom because if you want to make it a gaming rig, 
you want to select all accessibilities. You want all ex all accessories. Say notes. You may change this if you want, but there are some programs you can take or take off to the list. I'm going to disable the address book and communications because I don't want it. You want all desktop themes if you want to enhance your Windows 98 desktop. You don't want internet tools. We want all multimedia and we don't want online services. Maybe to the system wizard. I would say yes to... I would possibly say yes to the character map if you want to, but I'm not going to for this vid tutorial. You can name your Windows 98 PCEM config whatever you want. I'll name it PCEM 98 tutorial. You can give it a work group name if you want. I'm just going to leave it the way it is, and you can give it a computer description if you want. You want to make sure your keyboard layout and regional settings is correct. And you want to hit next. And you want to select your country or region from the list below. You want to click next. And it's going to create a startup disk. But I recommend you hit cancel because nowadays it's no point in making a startup disk for Windows 98. And now it's going to copy over files. When this is done, I will show you what the final touches are. Okay. We're about to go on a reboot after copying over the Windows 98 files from... You can either let it do it automatically, or you do it now. And getting ready to run Windows for the first time. Because in this part, is where you're going to fill in information. You can type in type in your name and company if you have one. I accept the agreement. And this is where you're going to enter in your property. I'm going to cut this out so I don't get copyrighted by Microsoft. I'll enter it in and I'll be right back. Okay, I just entered in my Windows 98 product key. And it's going to start the wizard. Click finish to continue installing Windows 98. And now it's initializing its driver beta database. If you hear any sound, it's from my cat Bella, so I do apologize. And it's also going to ask your time zone. Okay, it's also detecting your uh, plug-and-play wear on your PCEM config. It's 
detecting your hardware. And if it asks for your time zone, you have to make it the correct one. Okay. It's also setting up plug and play devices you may have. And it's also going to ask for your time zone. And you have to make it the correct time zone to have it synced into your uh, computer. Setting up control panel. Programs on the start menu. And it's updating system settings. Okay, when we are done with this part, we are going to install the drivers. The, installing the drivers is the next part. Okay. We are done with the... Okay, it's going to restart your computer, which means it's going to take you to the desktop. But I must warn you that it's only going to pick up the sound driver, not the video driver, because you're going to have to install the video driver on the PCEM utilities you just downloaded. And as you see, it all starts in a green background from Windows 95. And new hardware found. It found a plug and play monitor, so just let it do its way. And hit finish. And it also found driver for the Sound Blaster AWE32. And the reason why... No, we do not want to restart. Because it's a waste. As you heard, it played that Windows 98 sound. It's a little stuttery because of possibly due to OBS. And next is installing the drivers. But if you get a pop up saying, Welcome to Windows 98, wait for its animation to finish. Oh, I guess it didn't show up. Hm. Go to my computer. Go to PCEM Utilities, and you want to select Windows 98 and Windows ME. And we're going to do a copy and paste command. So we're going to copy to the desktop to make things easy. So that way we can get some Windows 98 programs and stuff installed. This includes 7-Zip 4.65, Adobe Reader 4, NetTime, the USB supplement program. I do not know if, when there is going to be a version of PCEM that will support USB, but I put that there because the USB will let you install the drivers on a USB stick so that way you don't have to burn all the drivers on a CD uh, if you're installing on a physical machine on a Pentium 2 or a Pentium 3.
Uh, so, copied over the Net Framework 2.0 and other Windows 98 tweaks and updates. I'll wait for it to copy the Voodoo 3, and when I'm done, I'll get into that. Okay, when it's done copying, click on the Windows 98 and ME folder, and you go to 3DFX Voodoo 3, and you want to click isetup.exe. Okay, it says setup has completed configuring the Windows installer on your system. The system needs to be restarted in order to continue with the installation. Please click restart to reboot your system. Okay, when it goes to the desktop, you'll get a message saying preparing to install. And it does pop up with welcome to Windows 98. It looks like puke right now, so we're going to untick, show the screen each time Windows 98 starts. And it'll, and since you installed the video driver, it'll welcome you to your VDFX tool setup wizard. Please close all applications before proceeding. Install shield setup will install VDFX tools to your computer. To continue, click next. Click next. I accept the agreement. Click next and then click install. And it's gonna copy new files over. And it's copying over possibly from the uh, system folder. Registering modules, registering product, moving backup files. You want to restart now because after the reboot, the video will look a lot better. Okay, the video looks a lot happier now, and it's building a driver information database. Yeah, I have my sound low because I was tired of wearing the headphones. Okay. To install the Voodoo 2 driver, click on the Voodoo 2 folder, click on the .exe file, click OK. When done zipping, run rogue readme. Click on zip. 22 files zipped on unzip successfully, click OK, and hit close. Next, right click on My Computer and go to Properties, go to Device Manager, and go to PCI Multimedia Video Device, click Properties, go to Driver, and hit up the click Update Driver. Click Next. Search for a, a better driver than the one you're using, your device is using now. Click next. You want to specify a location. Hit browse, and it thinks it's at A drive, but click cancel if you get that message. You want to go to C, Windows, Temp. Click OK. Click next, and it will say it is Voodoo 2 3D Accelerator. Click next, and if it and if a version conflict shows up, you want to click yes for all of those. And it's building a driver information database.
Windows has finished installing an updated driver for your hardware device. Click finish. And you want to restart in order for the driver to be successfully installed. Okay. We're at... Okay. To make sure Voodoo 2 is installed, go right-click and hit properties. And voila! 3DFX Voodoo 2 is set up properly. You can set it to any dimension you want. If you're doing it on a laptop, you want to go to 800 by 600. If your monitor is at a very high dis display, you want to select 1024 by 768. And a must-have is smooth edge of screenshots and show window contents, contents when starting. And if you want to change the color mode, you want to apply the new color settings without restarting. And if you want, you can add in a settings icon in the taskbar. So that way, if a game requires that, and here's a little thing to note on the Windows 98 PCEM utilities. These are optionable to you. You can also, in order for DirectX 9, the Voodoo driver to work, you have to install DirectX 9. And to keep Windows 98 happy, you can also install Internet Explorer 6. You can also install Framework 2.0 for Windows 98. You can also install QRes. You can also install... QuickTime Player version 5.0. You can install Tweak UI. All you have to do is right click this and click install. And if it asks for the disk, it's in Windows Desktop, Windows 98 and ME, Tweak UI Win 98, CNT, and click OK. See? Everything is working. If you want to know what 290700 is, that is for Windows ME, which I will get to later in another video. You can also include these X files and QuickTime 5. These are optional if you want to install them or not. Anyways, I hope this tutorial helped you install Windows 98 on PC Emulator. I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you later for the next tutorial.